You're watching The Adrian Bauer Project. Hello, 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 hello. Many, many thanks for choosing to click on my thumbnail and to watch my content. Very much appreciated, as always. And as you can see from today's thumbnail, we're at the very beginning of a brand new build. So, you may have seen uh, a couple of months ago, was it now? I did a plain talking review of Italieri's uh, locomotive BR50. Is it Italieri or Taleris? Something like that. I always say Italieri, so you'll be up to you. So, anyway, we've already done the plain talking review of uh, the kit. Um, did I tell you what I was going to do with it? Well, if I didn't, you're going to find out now. So, my next build is going to be the Motorhead Orgasmatron Loco. So, there we go. So, uh, this is uh, the model kit that I'm going to base it on. It's the closest thing I could find to Joe Patagno's uh, illustration. So, we'll... Uh, do as best as we can with it. So uh, today we just uh, today's vlog number one uh, is all down to the planning stage. So what I'm going to do first is build the kit because this is going to be the basis, and I know how big uh, all these scratch buildings going to be. Then so I've already made a start on it. Uh, I've done the uh, the boiler and the driver's cab so there we go i haven't painted inside there i think it's just going to be uh, a matter of dry brushing in there so i'm not going to go over town on detailing in there if you're going to do it yourself then yeah you'll spend a lot more time on the actual locomotive than, than i'm going to but it's just, it's just going to be basically a lot of dry brushing and some rust weathering and that's probably going to be it so there we go so as we can see like I say, we've done the boiler part and we've got this driver's cab. It's fairly straightforward. Be aware though, there are some really, really small fiddly bits and if your eyesight's as bad as mine, you may uh, struggle a little bit. So I'm going to put my little pair of glasses on. So um, as you can see, there's, there's that part there and that part there have to be glued on around the other side. That part there has to be glued on. It's that small, I'm not even picking it up. Well, there we go. That little bit there. And being Italian, it is a bit hit and miss with the instructions. You just say it goes there. And it'll leave you to uh, decide for yourself the positioning of it. Is it going to be laid down, stood up? I don't know. But I'm just assuming I've got these in the right position. So it's a lot of dry fitting and messing about. So there we go. We've made a start on the locomotive itself. So when we've got all the locomotive built up, then we've got to come up to this part here, which is going to be a lot of scratch building. Now, what I plan on doing first is this, uh, like a snow plow, uh, cattle catcher thing on the front. Uh, up in there at the minute, whether I'm going to be using plastic card or just cardboard to build that. I may use cardboard. I think it might be a little bit easier. But we'll see how we go. I may make two versions of it using plastic card and one with card. See which one looks the best. And then that will be fitted onto the front of the loco ready to be painted. And then we can come on uh, to doing the war pig, so I will be using uh, this Das air dry clay. Went out and bought a block of it. I did go into my shop, and there was like a few weeks ago, there was sort of a, a block that size. I thought, oh, that would be perfect. Being me, I didn't pick it up, so they've sold all that out. Now I've had to go with a big thing, but um, I may be doing other things with that one. I'm going to be doing other things after what I paid for it. So uh, I've got to do a lot of planning out for the uh, the warpig itself. So 
I think we'll sort of build from the bottom up rather than the top down because that way I'm going to make sure that I've left enough room to get the tongue in just there because the tongue is going over the top of this uh, snow plough effect thing there then I'll get the the fangs in at the bottom then I can work on the top bit itself and then I can put uh, the two horns in on the side. Uh, I do have uh, a bit of chain. Uh, I went to Primark and got a really, really cheap chain. I'm like, yep, yeah, that'll do. So we've already got the chain bought already. Um, there is one little detail on there that, unless you've studied the album cover like I did from when I first bought it, when it was first released, there is a detail on there that you may very well miss. Can you see it? I'll give you a minute. Let's have a look. Let's, let's get a bit further for it. That's going to give the game away a bit, I think, there. Okay. Give yourself 10 points and a pat on the back if you said the little ace of spades just there on the side plates. Aha. Uh -huh. Very easily missed if you're just scanning uh, the picture not get paying really much attention to it but as for that there i don't know i'm going to do that yet i may drill holes make a template drill little holes or I may make a template and then just go around see if i can get a silver pen one of those sharpers or something and just little dabs around i don't know yet get some of those uh, rivets that you can buy little plastic rivets i don't know I'm not sorted it out yet but as you can see from Joe Patagno's drawing there, it's a lot shorter than the actual engine itself. So I will be cutting off that panel there so we can try and get it uh, to the same size as on the illustration. So that panel there will be removed. I'll probably try and get rid of that panel line there. And then we can put the uh, Ace of Spades on it. Where it's supposed to be just there and of course now you know that i'm doing this you'll know what i'll be doing with the decals that i didn't use from the last build the high call he 111 where bomber build i've carried them over for this build so uh the motorhead logo that should have gone on the bottom of the plane which wasn't in photo anyway uh that will be going on the top there um, going to uh, because that bit's got to be glued on as well so it'll be going sort of over there which means there's going to be a lot of uh decal fix and sharp blades and a lot of swearing as well i can guarantee a lot of swearing um the motorhead warping decals as well add they'll be going on the tendon tender uh, tendon the tender at the back so we've got some there as well so there we go that's uh, the planning stage, what I've got to consider. Um, I will be watching a lot of uh, uh, videos on how to uh, sculpt with this. I know there is one guy out there, not sure if he's Italian, but he makes these really awesome models with, uh, you know, dry, air dry clay. Ari does it. I'm going to be watching a lot of his videos. He's, he's done dragons dinosaurs you name it he's made sculptures out of it so i'll be watching a lot of his videos for hints and tips and hopefully i don't make too much of a body job of it so there we go so as we said build already started we've started on the loco already so the next uh, video that comes up uh, i'll be showing you how far i've got with it any little problems uh, I run into it with the kit as well because I'm not sure if anybody's done the BR50 as a video on YouTube. I'm not sure. I'll have to go and have a look so uh, see what they've done with it. And uh, thanks again and here's to the next video. Many, many thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little notification bell.